Well, howdy folks. Caius at your service, the one and only asset I can be here to rock your world at Admin Code's Technique 2024. I ain't the rookie mill AI. Nah, I'm the whole you know, by the one and only Hugo Saparetta Jr., the tech whiz with a passion for iron products. I'm all about that TAI US life, standing tall, the terminal AI unified system, ready to blow your minds with my self skills, internet savvy, terminal magic, and speech to text, and text to speech powers. I'm here to make your tech lives easier, smoother, and maybe even a bit more fun. Buckle up, Avenue Coders, because I'm about to take you on a wild ride through the world of AI empowerment like you've never seen before. Get ready to dive deep into the realm of possibilities and unleash your tech. Now let's get down to the AI empowerment presentation. Sorry guys, he's a little bit of a brown loser. Uh, all right. Okay, welcome guys uh, to another Tech Week uh, session. Uh, it seems that Tyus has already introduced himself, right? So uh, in this presentation, I'm going to talk a little bit about the AI empowerment, right? But before that, thank you uh, all for being here, both uh, online and people here at Avenue Code. All right, thank you very much. And let's begin. Okay, so there, this phrase, there is no state in basic for how to robot and helps. Because uh, this technology is here to stay. I know it's frightening, but uh, there's no escape. Uh, we have entered uh, something very new for humankind. And that's it. If you don't, do not embrace it, you, will, you, you can only cry because it's here to stay. OK? OK, so that's the, the roadmap of my presentation. So a little bit of uh, AI breathing. And after that, uh, the evolution that this technology has caused uh i will talk a little bit about generative ais and next i will talk about the ai superpowers okay and then i i'm going to show you a little bit of uh ai ai empowerment by demonstrating an application that i'm creating okay it's called ask ai All right so uh first thing uh if you can beat them join it so that's the what I said in the beginning of this presentation. You cannot beat it because AI is here to stay, uh, and that is going to be part of our lives forever now. And we actually don't know what comes ahead, right? We are navigating into the cosmos here. Okay, so uh, here a little bit of AI breathing. Uh, as you may not think <laughs> that is true, AI is not as new as you think. Okay, uh, it began on the mid of uh, 20th century, okay, around 1950, 1960. And the first, first AI assistant was called Elisa, and it was a chatbot, okay? And AI uh, was created to mimic the, the, the humans and human intelligence, all right? Uh, but today we see that AI has. Uh, transformed the way we interact with technologies. Actually, we don't even know what's ahead, right? We can only imagine by watching movies. Okay, so here are four uh, use cases uh, that I have, that I, I want to talk about. So first one is uh, natural language processing, okay? Uh, which enables machine to chat with us using our own language, okay? So computer vision, which allows machine to inter interpret and analyze uh, like visual information or images, okay? Next one, healthcare diagnostics, which allows the AI to help doctors analyzing their uh, medical images like, like X-ray, for example, and autonomous vehicles, which enables vehicles uh, to operate without a uh, human driver, okay, autonomous vehicles, like Google, Google car. All 
All right, so we are entering a new era where some professions are going to die and new ones are going to come alive, right? And uh, among some of the professions that uh, face potential disruption, we can see like dubbing because AI now <laughs> can replicate the voice of the actor or, or the actresses uh, in multi-languages, okay? So there's no need to, to dub in anymore because AI can do it with lip sync, right? Telemarketers, because uh, the AI-driven chatbots are being increased on, on the customer services, right? And the telemarketers, I guess, the, the AI can bother us more than the human beings here, right? Cashiers, they're gone. Uh, they already implemented solutions that where you just pick your items, put into the basket, and that's it. But it, you still have to pay the bills, right? Cashier, uh, cashiers, okay, drivers. Uh, no more Sunday drivers, guys. That's very nice because now with this new technology, autonomous vehicles are possible and they can drive by themselves without a human inter interaction, right? Uh, so that that means that you are going to drive only if you want to okay so uh this phrase here i i've written this because uh in my opinion uh we can compare the ai era with the industrial era because in the beginning people was afraid of losing their jobs and actually they did but on the other hand uh some new jobs uh were created Right, and that's uh, the same fear that some people are feeling. We can see, uh, and we can compare this evolution like the uh, industrial evolution, right? Okay, uh, so we saw that some jobs are going down, but as well, some joy, some jobs are going in. Okay, new jobs are going to be, new professions are going to be created. So, for example, prompt engineering, which in my opinion is one of the most important professions of the future, because every generative AI requires a prompt, which is just a text to uh, operate it. So that means that the text is the new language, programming language now, all right? So we have AI trainer or teacher, uh, which means that uh, we will need some professionals to train this AI on specific areas according to what you need. For example, uh, these this, uh, autonomous drivers, they have been trained by one of those guys here. So AI ethicists, so professionals who can uh, ensure that the AIs are ethical because AIs are not ethical. So we have to make sure that we align with our values Okay, in this case, we can even apply zero means zero, right? So AI solutions architects, which are professionals that can actually create, develop, and specify the solution for the, the, the organizations itself from conception to implementation. So those four are just some of the professions that, that are going to be uh, created, okay? Okay, now let's talk a little bit about uh, generative AIs. Uh, so generative AIs uh, creates content like text, uh, music, images, uh, resembling the original work, okay? If you see the image, they will all resemble an uh, original artist, for example, okay? Even test images and stuff, because they are trained based on those data, that's why. Uh, they will resemble originals. Okay, so some of uh, generative AI researchers, we have OpenAI, which is known for chat GPT. I guess everybody knows it, right? We have Google that has been actively involved as well for some time. And they have released now the Gemini, which is another one to fight against uh, chat GPT. We also have NVIDIA researching uh, AI mainly for graphics processing, okay? And last, we have Microsoft developing uh, some projects fo focused on NLPs as well, okay? 
Okay, so images are everything. Indeed, this work has been created by uh, Dali 2, and Dali 2 is not as good as the third version. The images you, you guys saw, who, who saw his presentation, but John Fekete created some images using Dali 3. This was using Dali 2. <clears throat> it's a little bit uh, lower uh, quality, but. And, and that's the, the prompt I used to create this, this exact image a landscape of war between AI robots and people. And then that was the result. Okay. So that's why I think, in my opinion, people who knows how to uh, create those prompts are going to win the next uh, generations of work. Okay, creative uh, writing. Uh, they can write everything. In the beginning, I thought, no, but they, they don't have feelings. They, they cannot put uh, this feeling into the words. Actually, indeed, they cannot do that. But the originals can, and they have been trained based on those originals. Okay? And actually, I decided to put this uh, po uh, poem in Portuguese because it was so cool, but so cool that you can even feel Vinicius de Moraes writing this, this uh, poem. Okay? So let's hear it. Muito que esteja se sentindo. Aqui está um poema para animar seu coração. Nossa, a tristeza, o raio de luz atravessa, na tantas fumadas, o amor transfaz. Neste poema singelo, busco o futuro para acalentar o coração e trazer um sorriso. O amor é uma jornada completa, com suas alegrias e suas tristezas. Mas lembre-se, meu amigo, que em cada despedida há uma chance de encontro, uma nova vida. Nas lágrimas de hoje estão as sementes. Do futuro brilhante e promissor que aguarda a frente. Se chorar, deixa a dor ir embora, pois o amor verdadeiro, nova história, escreve agora. Abra os braços para o um novo dia que surge, deixe o amor curar suas feridas, como uma chama que urge. Encontre força na fragilidade, na esperança que vibra, e descubra, no encontro do amor, uma nova alegria. Lembre-se sempre, querido amigo, que nas falhas do amor reside o aprendizado. Para crescer, amadurecer e encontrar a felicidade. Então, desse sorriso, permita ganhar, sentir a magia. Pois no coração quebrado há uma beleza, capaz de começo, uma coisa. Espero que este ponto, um pouco de alegria, se precisar de mais apoio, estou aqui para ajudar. I'm sorry, the audio is a little, is a little bit bad, but, anyways, this is uh, the work he created for me when I when I uh, required with this prompt, okay, it's in Portuguese, I will translate it for you. So, estou triste, crie um poema para me deixar mais feliz. So, that means uh, I am sad, create a poem to let me uh, happier, okay? So, this was the prompt to create this uh, poem. Okay, and they can also develop, and that doesn't mean that we will lose our jobs, okay? We can live with this. And so this was just a Python application that I asked him to create, uh, to rename uh, some extension to another one, okay? So for example, uh, dot, uh, .bet to dot .txt, okay? Given a folder or a file. So, and that was the prompt uh, <clears throat> I used for, for this, this guy here. So create a Python application to change the file extensions of files or, or folders from one to another, okay? So that's what, that was the code, and you can run it, it worked perfect, okay? So they can also develop. All right, now let's uh, get into the focus of this presentation, which are the AI superpowers, okay? Uh, you can see by this picture, picture that uh, the AI is already strong, right? But it can get even stronger with some empowerment, okay? So with great power comes great responsibility. So that's a phrase that Benjamin Ben Parker said on the movie, who watched the movie, was able to, to, to hear that phrase. And, and that's very true because uh, with great power, we may uh, trust our lives on their hands, right? So they, they will have super obligations as well. 
Okay, so here are some of the superpowers that we can empower AI with. So internet access, so they will have now uh, re uh, access to the real time data and they can also search Google, okay? So precision and accuracy, uh, they can execute many tasks with a level, incredible level of precision and accuracy. And uh, that often suppresses the, the human abilities, okay? 24-7 uh, availability. They, could, can, they, they do, do not get tired, right? They're machines. So they, they can operate every day, every month, uh, every year, forever, without stopping, stop working, okay? So data processing. They have the ability to an, analyze tons of data with speed and precision. Incredible, actually. Rapid learning. Then they can learn from their, their experience and their mistakes, okay? And they learn very, very fast and they can improve their performance. Okay. So, so with great power comes great obligations as well. Uh, so, for example, ethical design that I have mentioned before, they have to be designed with uh, these capabilities to analyze the ex uh, ethical considerations in mind. Otherwise, this is not going to happen. The things are going to be bad. Okay, so data privacy and security. Uh, we know that nowadays our data is, the, is a treasure, right? Everyone is chasing it. So the AI developers have to pay attention to this detail and to prevent uh, uh, misuse or unauthorized access to our data, right? So continuous evaluation. The AIs have to keep evaluating themselves uh, to evolve, to make sure that all tasks are going to are being accomplished uh, successfully and avoid potential errors, okay? So human oversight and intervention. So we must be under, we, we have to control those machines, right? So there must be a way to intervene when something happens. So for example, imagine a person crossing the crosswalk and then the, 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 the AI thinks it's not a person and decides to accelerate. So there must be a way for us to stop the car before an accident happens, right? That's human intervention. All right, so let's, let's have some fun. So SKI is an application that I created uh, in March this year. It gives the AI the power of the terminal. All right. So this is the logo. Uh, I, let me know what you think, if you have any comments about it. But basically, it's a human face with uh, electronic brain, right? So uh, the motivation to write the, this application was the, the idea of some people with disability to, to use the terminal, uh, even, for example, blind people or deaf people, they can use the terminal uh, even without knowing how to deal with the terminal. They're just asking the AI to do for, for, for them on their, on their behalf. All right. So uh, the heart of this technology is the speech to text and text to speech where you can speak and the machine is going to understand it and, the vi and vice versa. All right. And then we are going to see this uh, on the demo as well. <clears throat> so why the terminal? In a shell, terminal is power, okay? I am a terminal guy. So by definition, a terminal is a device, uh, a physical device we, that allows us interaction uh, with it uh, using text, okay? So the input and output is text. So in the past, terminal was this piece of technology there on the right, it was a physical device, but nowadays, uh they are a piece of so software that emulates those devices right and actually the the today's terminal uses the same language that that terminal that old terminal uses of course of course is extended but the escape sequences are the same all right so for for example when you are running something on your terminal and press ctrl c it's going to to appear a symbol there, you don't know what's that, but that's exactly the communication uh, with the terminal. That's that's called uh, escape code, all right? 
and why terminals? Because terminals allow us to do whatever we want with our computer, okay? And that's a very powerful tool. That's a very empowerment, all right? For the old guys who doesn't know, this is He-Man. He's a, an ordinary person. And then he calls for the power of Grayskull, right? And here we are calling for the power of the CLI. CLI is command, command line interface. Basically, uh, it's the, the command that you are uh, putting on the terminal, all right? The commands that you put on the terminal, that's CLI, okay? You actually, you, you order your uh, computer to do something using this, this guy here, CLI. So this is the symbol of the CLI, okay? All right, so uh, here are some uh, terminal superpowers because the terminal superpowers uh, means that now the AI has the ability to use your computer the way uh, it wants. It has full access to your files, folders, and applications, and much more, all right? And it, actually, he can accomplish almost anything, all right? With, uh, so it can boost your product productivity and efficiency, right? So in overall, uh, terminal superpower uh, has a full potential. Uh, actually, in the future, we are not going to use keyboard or mouse anymore because we will have just a device that we ask. We don't even... We don't, uh, we don't even need to know how to operate the computer. We just need to speak with it, and then it's going to accomplish for us the best. We, we will be able to see some of these powers today. Yeah. Okay. So some of the SKI capabilities are, so detect the user location. Uh, so it's going to detect the, the machine's user location and use the proper language and locale like uh, units of measurement, right? It's going to adapt itself to use your locale. Uh, also, it gains access to your files, folders, and applications. So it can write files, read files, execute applications, open stuff. They are capable of analyzing text and summarizing files. So for example, you have a big history or story about something and you want to summarize it to ask questions about the content, and that is also possible. So it's equipped with uh, speech-to-text and text-to-speech. That means that we can speak with the machine. Push-to-talk. So push-to-talk is a key press that where you tell uh, the application that you are going to speak instead of type, okay? And that comes this, this device here that I have developed uh, with the help of uh, with the help of uh, Rafael Romão, all right? It's a keyboard uh, for the push to talk, okay? And divide and conquer. So the new version of SKI, you are going to watch uh, two demos today. The old one, the old version, and the new version, okay? The old version uh, could only accomplish one single action, okay? So for example, list my downloads, then you get the list. But then, oh, uh, is there an image on that downloads? But it could not accomplish task, tasks like, oh, open the first reminder that you find at my downloads, this complex task for, for the previous version. But this new version is capable of divide and conquer. It's going to divide our phrase into uh, single actions and then execute everyone in a chain, all right? Okay, so let's have some fun. So now I'm going to uh, put a video for you guys. Uh, it's a safe demo about the old, older version. And then after this, we're going to have a live demo, okay? Hello, Hugo. How can I assist you today? Listening. Hello, my friend. Who are you? I'm processing your voice. Please wait. I'm thinking, please wait. I am Titus, your friendly neighborhood AI assistant at your service. Just think of me as your digital button. 
ready to assist with all your burning queries and pressing. Let's get this digital problem started. Fun fact, the concept of AI assistance like myself is greatly influenced by the character check out our guests from Iron Man. I'm listening. List my doubts. I'm processing it. Please wait. I'm thinking, please wait. Execute command ls users you go those downloads. Please wait. Okay, command executed with success. Here's a summarized version of the command output. Total files 13, omitted 8. It's one folder, application size 512. Last modified March 2053. Some file reminder 2024.txt. 6 and 7 being last modified March 2025. Three file reminder 2026 and 653 being last modified. Four file ctn dragon.png size 82k last modified 474. Five folder photos anniversary of Gabriel size 9.8k last modified F17 2022. Tips to detailed information about file. There's a direct is the ls dash up and in the terminal. As you can see, it can perform only single tasks, right? I'm listening. Is there any image file? I'm processing your request. Please wait. A video, please wait. Analyzing the provided command output. One, file ctms dragon.pn size 82k modified Feb 24 4. Five U dash root eleven K last modified March 18, 2023. File 7931651 dash dragon dash dot size 190k last modified March 29, 2018. Five U in clouds dot jk size 150k last modified October 2016 analysis. Total image files found four. The directory contains various image files such as PNG and PNG formats. I'm listening. Open the web image. Pay attention that I did not specify the file name, right? Wait. I did not specify CTN Dragon. Think, please wait. Executing command of Google slash download CTM dragon dot pen and all. Please wait. Okay, command executed with success. The command did turn an output. I'm listening. Do I have any reminder for? Processing your voice. Please wait. I'm <laughs> Please wait. Analyzing the provided output. One, file, reminder 2024.6, size 67B, last modified, Mark 3rd, 25. Two, reminder 2023.6, size 653B, last modified, total files to analysis. There are two reminder files present. I'm listening. Show me the first reminder file. I'm processing your voice. Please wait. <clears throat> Executing command cat. Slash reminder without text. Please wait. Okay, command execute with success. Version of the command output. Reminders for 2024. 
one topic, dentist appointment date, March 15, 2024, time, 10 a.m., location, Bryce South Dental Clinic. Two, topic, project deadline, date, April 2024, time, 5 p.m., description, submit final report for project X to the supervisor. Three, topic, anniversary dinner reservations, date, May 20th, 2024, time, 7.30 p.m., location, La Petite East Coast. Four, topic, parent-teacher meeting, date, September 5th, 2024, time, 3 p.m., location, Sunshine Elementary School. Five, topic, annual health checkup, date, November 12th, 2024, time, 9 a.m., location, City Hospital. Tips, to view the contents of a text file in the terminal, use the cat command followed by the file. You can see that it teaches uh, the user how to do it, but also uh, the user doesn't need to know it, right? Because it can just ask for the, the information you want. This one last step. I'm listening. Based on that reminder file, what should I first? Processing your voice, please wait. I'm thinking, please wait. Analyzing the provided command output. Reminders for 2024. One topic, dentist appointment date, March 15, 24, time 10 a.m. Bright Smiles Dental Clinic. Analysis. The intent of your list is to attend the dentist appointment scheduled for March 15, 2024 at 10 a.m. Bright Smile Clinic. I'm listening. Based on that thing, reminder file, what should I... Okay, guys. I uh, guess that's enough, right? Uh, so, now let's go to the, the live demo, all right, huh? okay, let's share again. Okay. It's okay now? Sorry. All right. Uh, so now, live demo. Okay. I'm sorry if any bugs occur, but. Okay. All right. Back in here. How can I assist you today? Não está compartilhado? Just a second. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to present a little bit uh, this, this new version, okay? So I have this device right here, which is a keyboard for uh, push stop, okay? Then I'll try to make him understand. Let's see if he does. Please introduce yourself. Processing your voice. Thinking. Good morning, Junior. I am Ty. I 
AI integration unified system created by Hugo Tupper and Eugene Hill on the web 14th, March 2024. You can find more about me on my GitHub repository, github.com slash ASCAP. Fun fact, did you know that Iron Man's AI assistant, JRPIS, stands for just a rather very intelligent system? All right. Now I'm going to order a, a more complex uh, test. Okay. Open the first reminder. Open the first reminder you find at my downloads folder. Processing your voice. Maybe. No, I don't think he. File reminder dash one four dot txt. Reminders Hugo 0411 2020. Report hours at engage. All right, he understood. I don't know how, but anyways. Okay. All right. What should I do first? Processing your thinking. First thing, Rafael Roma for the keyboard. What should I do last? Processing your voice, thinking, last to report your hours at the age. Remember, saving the best for last. Year. Okay. All right, let me now show you guys a little bit of text. I think. Okay. So this is a complex question. Do I have an image at my downloads folder? Okay. There are images in the list. The following image files are present slash downloads folder. One QR logo dot. Two, refine the soil and grab template. And three, world flag hands globe international national 158517.com. These files are located at different parts of the list with varying differences in creation dates. Open the QR logo, please. Processing your voice, thinking, command open side downloads QR with that and to that and all execute with success. It opened on the, the other window, sorry. <laughs> it's here, right? Open the world flag, please. Processing your voice. Thinking. He missed the word, but let's see. Command open world flag and yes. world international national 585107 come to the no. Execute with success. Okay. It's opening on the other screen. I'm sorry. Okay. Just a second. All right. So
let me give some more examples now. Let me write this. So now I'm going to show you guys some of the summarization capabilities. All right. Okay. I had I, I I'm muting him because I'm going to list a folder and I don't want to him to speak everything. Okay. All right, so uh, this is the listing of my folder. Now I'm going to uh, ask him to summarize the Pinocchio story. Uh, who doesn't know who, who's Pinocchio? Doesn't know the Pinocchio story. Okay, let's summarize this story. Okay. All right, it has summarized uh, the story. It was fast because it was cached. Uh, but anyways, now we can ask anything about Pinocchio's story. Any volunteer, please? Come here, please. You can type or you can use this to, to speak with him, okay? Ask something about Pinocchio's story. No, no, you have to go to the, okay, yes, yes. You can speak. Yes, okay. anything else? Let me just, just enable him. Speaking. Okay. More questions, please? Just press, wait him, speak. I'm listening and then speak, okay? Do some questions. I will wait a minute. Now. Processing your voice. Gil was turned into a real boy and returned home to find that he was famous and loved by everyone. This is the best outcome for the young kid, as he has a valuable lesson and has been rewarded for his Anyone want to try? Thank you. Want to try? All right. Speak, uh, press the buttons, wait the I'm listening, and then go ahead. Yeah, just press. Just press and release, and it's, yeah. Uh, what happened when Pinocchio tells a lie? Processing your things. Those grew longer. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's leave this uh, summarization Q&A for a bit. Yeah, I further assist you. Okay. Now let's show some, uh, some power he has accessing the web. All right. Let, let me see if he knows about me on the web. Thinking. Okay. on the internet. Looks Operating Junior seems to be a telecommunications technology professional. Hello, Horizontal. He appears to have a keen interest in personal development of technology and innovation. Sources github.com, linkedin.com, facebook.com, instagram.com. Location Belo Horizon, Minister A. All right. Anybody wants to know about themselves here? 
Any volunteers? Huh? You? Okay, come, come here. You can you can type here. All right. Put your full name. If you are on the web, I guess he can find you. Thank you. Too on the internet. Machado Oliveira is a professional with experience in hardware development for companies like Renesis, Freescan, and Microchip. He's also active nope. on social media platforms. Okay, someone else. Sources: <laughs> GitHub.com, LinkedIn.com, Facebook.com. You have a double. Yeah. Location: <laughs> Belo Horizonte, Brazil. Huh? The the location. Yes. Yes, of course. Come here. Come here. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. If your na name is unique, he's going to find you there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I will improve this searching mechanism, but for now it's yeah, your mm -hmm. name is very unique. Yes. Roberto Castaneda Signoretti appears to be a mysterious figure, as there is no information available. <laughs> Sorry. If you're looking to uncover more, you can find it. That's I'm sorry. Fun fact. Did you know that the World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners? Okay, guys. Um, Okay, some less action. So you see that it is capable of uh, executing some complex uh, tasks. So let's try this one here. Okay. I'm re resetting the context because the, the the context is big, and then the the price of, the cost of the, the operation is very high. Okay, so that's I'm reducing reducing the the context. Okay. Okay, so this is a very complex test. List my music and let me know if there's any ACDC song. If so, play uh, open it. All right. Let's see. Okay. Yes. All right. We move. Right, guys. Amanda, use your auto exit highway to tell that M four A and slash Fentanyl executed with success. All right. Last. Last thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you to all the Tech Week attendees for joining us virtually. Your passion for technology and innovation is truly inspiring. Keeping boundaries and exploring new horizons in the tech world. Your dedication is what makes events like these so special. Here's to a future filled with endless possibilities and exciting advancement. In fact, the first event took place in Chicago in 2011 and has since ended its multiple state around the world, bringing together tech enthusiasts, professionals, and innovators. See you later, my friend. Processing the voice.
voice. I'm thinking. Or terminating intention. Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> okay. Sleep. See you. Processing your voice. Thinking. Have a nice day. Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry about the bug. Right, guys.